Hey guys, so I'm doing part two of my haul video and now I'm gonna show you some shoes and uh, some accessories and beauty pieces that I got. So starting with shoes, I got this pair from Stradivarius and I love these. They're beige color suede shoes and when I saw them they caught my eye and when I tried them on I was like wow. I have to get these because they're so comfortable they just stick to my foot they are like perfect fit for my feet and they will go with everything the neutral color and the other reason I got them is because they reminded me of Rosie Huntington Whiteley I think this is exactly something that she would wear they have zipper at the back so it's a lot it's very much her style and I really like this. The second pair I got is from Zara. You're probably sick of seeing those heels. They're all over the internet, but I don't care. They're beautiful. So it's this, um, I like the color combination. They have black heels, orange here at the back and like beige color at the front. And they're very chic and elegant stilettos. Uh, and they will go beautiful with the skirt I showed in my clothing haul and that orange t-shirt. These are not very comfortable, I'll be honest, but they're beautiful and it's it's usually hard to find comfortable heels, so I'm not complaining too much. And tomorrow I'm flying to Paris, so I needed shoes that basically I don't have normal like ballerina flats. I have the pointy ones from H&M. But my boyfriend just hates them, so I need a, a new pair of flats. And I got these ones from Zara. Patent leather, black flats. And I just absolutely love them. I think they're adorable. They're very minimal and it's, it's exactly what I wanted. They look very classy uh, to wear with jeans, with skirts, with everything. And they're a little padded, so they're like soft inside. The only thing I don't like is that they're not real leather inside, so my feet will sweat a lot. But again, they were like so inexpensive, so I can't expect real leather. They were like around 20, 20 something euros. Maybe 25, something like that. But so cute, I love these. Flats and they don't hurt anywhere, you know, because sometimes with these stretchy ones it happens like they hurt here or here. These don't hurt at all. I, well, I haven't worn them out, but I can tell already. Then I got a lot of jewelry, actually, um, from Bershka. I got two stunning necklaces. So I got this one. They were so inexpensive. This is a gold kind of chain necklace that will be beautiful with my like tweed jacket, simple t-shirts and I don't know, I just really like it and it was only 10 euro. The other one I got from Bershka, you guys may not know but I really love dainty jewelry but when I say dainty I mean so tiny that you can barely see the jewelry, it only glistens when the sun shines. Uh, but it's very hard to find these kind of super delicate pieces and my inspiration, like biggest dainty jewelry inspiration is Candice Swanpole. She has the most stunning, you can google her picture, she always wears dainty necklaces, rings, bracelets, all in gold color. So I just want to build a collection just like hers, her jewelry is amazing. So I saw this one in Bershka. As I said, it's a tiny star with white crystals. The chain is not super delicate, but it's it's quite delicate. And it will look beautiful. And it was only ten three, sorry. <laughs> only three euros, so very cheap. I hope it will not tarnish, will not change the color. Then I got a set of rings from Aldo. And I got these in rose gold, but I exchanged it to gold because I thought I'll have more things to pair with gold than rose gold. So it's a set of like thin rings, bands in different kind of patterns. The only thing I don't like is that they're wide here. So it's kind of hard to close fingers. 
But I mean, they were like 8 euros, so you can't complain too much. Then from Fashion Zone, and I actually didn't know that it says made in Paris. I didn't know Fashion Zone is a French brand, that's cool. I got this ring today and I just love it. It's so beautiful. It's this big chunky silver ring with tiny crystals and they had it in black in gold so it took me forever to decide which one to get but I ended up with the silver one unfortunately you can't see how beautifully it sparkles but it was only seven euro very nice ring and the last jewelry item I got from here was it washed it's Lithuanian jewelry brand and the woman, the seller, made me 5% off. I wish she, she did kind of more because it was still pricey for what it is, but I really like it. So it's this long necklace. It has metal beads that look kind of like pearls. Then this, it's kind of heavy actually, crystallized pendant and with a tassel. And it looks, I'll try to put it on. It looks very good with just simple white t-shirts. This kind of chunky necklace. So I really like it. It was um, around 13 euros. Sorry, I'm like not saying the actual price because it's uh, we don't pay in euros here we have litas our own money so i'm trying to convert the prices to make it kind of clear for you what the price tag is and now on to the beauty items i was shopping beauty shopping with my friend leka because as i told you guys she's going to croatia and i'm going to paris and we kind of needed both needed sample sizes of products for traveling so I got Gillette Venus razors and I've tried like all of them I guess Embrace, Breeze, disposable ones and I never tried Riviera so I'm gonna try those out Toothpaste I don't know, I always wanted to try this 3D white looks glamour, glamorous and whiter teeth in 14 days I don't know, it just appealed to me glamorous toothpaste Looks like that. <laughs> then I got this travel set of Biotherm. You have um, tonifying exfoliating cleansing gel, instant hydration toning lotion and 24 hour deep hydration replenishing gel. This is a set for normal to combination skin and I recommend it to my friend. She got a pink one which is for dry skin. So that's great, all you need for traveling, for your skincare. Decided to try that out. Um, another thing I got, it's not for traveling actually, this one. I love Avent Thermal Water and I always use it. But now they came out here with Uriage, a French skincare brand, which we didn't have here before, but as I said, they're new here. This is their thermal water. My friend got the tiny bottle. And I'm excited to try this and compare this to Aven. Then I got mini size of Bioderma. Again, they never had mini bottles here, so they just brought them. And that's cool, they're so cute. Tiny Bioderma. I'm gonna bring it for taking off my make makeup, eye and face makeup. I got two of Essie nail polishes. This one I had last year in summer, it spilled in my bag. So I wanted to get a new one and they had a 40% off Essie. Normally Essie is seven euros here and now I got plus 40% uh, off. And in Paris Essie costs 13 euros, which is crazy, such an insane price. And as I said, this color I had, it's very, very similar to Vodka and Caviar by OPI. But anyways, I got it again. It's a deep, very sexy, deep red. And I really like it. And then, I, but here the Essie 
uh, collection, I told you guys again, I'm rambling on now. Uh, it's very limited selection. They have like old nail polishes or some even discontinued nail polishes, so they don't really bring new colors. And I wanted Fiji, but of course they didn't have that. So I found this color. It's similar to Fiji, I think. Well, Fiji is paler, almost white. This is a pale, pale, pale pink color. And I swatched it on my thumb. And it's exactly what I wanted. It's gorgeous. It's such a soft... Because I don't really like pinks that much. But this is... You know, it's so pale. And it's called... Oh, I didn't say. This is A-list. And this is Marabou. And I love the color. The only downside is that you need three coats for it to be a, opaque. And they also have old brushes. So very thin brushes. Now they are like thick brushes. So I don't like the thin ones. But the color is just gorgeous. I love it. And then they had 20% of Kerastase products. And these two products were on my like most wanted product like top list and there's there were like i wanted nectar thermic which i didn't get i got only two project products and i wanted the new crystallist shampoo but i had to restrict myself not to splurge too much because kerastase is probably the most expensive hair care um so i got elixir ultim oil which is like very famous, very much talked about oil. And a lot of people said that this kind of smells like Tom Ford's Black Orchid perfume, which you guys know I love. So I'm excited to try it. And then I got Cement Thermique. Um, this is heat activated reconstructing milk for brittle damage here. So basically it's a leave-in conditioner. And you can... You can use this as a heat protectant or just, you know, when you wash your hair, put it in your hair. So it will make your hair kind of healthier looking and also will protect from heat damage. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna love both of these products because I wanted them so bad. So yeah, these are all of my products. The end of my haul video, no more haul. And... As I said, tomorrow I'm leaving for Paris. I'm gonna vlog there because you guys like my vlogs in Paris. I don't know, I'm not sure I'm gonna shop a lot in Paris because, well, I splurged too much. Um, there's some makeup products that I wanna buy, but we'll see. So, yeah, I hope you guys liked it and hope you have a nice day. I'll see you soon. Bye.